Hi guys, my name is Michelle and I create hair, makeup and lifestyle content here on YouTube. Today we're talking about things I wish I knew when I was transitioning or rather tips that I wish I knew when I was transitioning my curly hair. So if that sounds like something that interests you, then keep watching. Tip number four, and oh my goodness, this is so important. Stop focusing on advanced stuff like hair porosity, hair density, protein, moisture, balance. Look, in my hair porosity video, I already told you guys that hair porosity is not so important for you to know right now. And I'm gonna say it again. It is, I'm gonna link that video up here if you haven't checked it out already. Look, hair porosity is not something that you need to be focusing on right now. Why? Because you need to understand your hair porosity to be able to take care of it properly, right? But when you start taking care of your hair and you learn certain things about it, you'll come to that answer of what your porosity is. So, you know, it's like that. The question begs the answer, the answer begs the question. Or how, how do I explain this? Uh, you need to ask yourself the question to get to the answer but only when you start taking care of your hair will you get to the answer so trust me nobody goes into CGM knowing what their porosity what their density is on day one just like you won't know what your curl type is you could start as a 2A and be a loud and proud 2B like I am right now in fact I have some 2C pieces this sprouting I have some spirals too in my hair now so yeah these things you won't know on day one and day two you won't know on your first wash and second wash you won't even know like a month or two months down the line so don't fixate on it don't focus on it too much give it some time perfect your technique and then slowly slowly you'll figure it out now about protein moisture balance uh, I have some people DMing me saying that, hey, you know, I use this product for the first time and I think my hair got protein overloaded. So, you know, I was like, one wash cannot give you protein overload or one wash cannot give you moisture overload. This is something that takes some time. If you've been using only protein in your washes for a long time or if you only use moisture, or you've used too much moisture and you've done it repeatedly, then there's a possibility that your hair can get overloaded, right? It's not something that happens just once really quick that way. Unless you go in with a ridiculous, like if you go in with so much conditioner or something, then maybe you could get like moisture overload because you put so much leave-in conditioner in your hair and obviously your curls feel soggy. But yeah, look, in the beginning when you're in month one, two, three, four, you don't have, your hair is transitioning. You won't even be able to tell or identify the signs like when your hair is soggy, right? When your hair is soft, when it feels like, you know, like, like it's overloaded with moisture. It is a very, very specific feeling. When you know how to identify it, then you'll know instantly. But if you've never experienced it before, uh, you won't know what it is. You won't know what it feels like. In the same way with uh, protein overload, your curls become extremely stringy. Now look, even on my first wash, my very first CGM wash, my hair started looking stringy. But that doesn't mean I, it had protein overload. Um, that is probably because of inadequate, improper styling, right? So, what I'm trying to tell you is protein moisture balance, hair porosity. These things you guys will not be able to figure out or identify in the beginning of your journey. So, please, if you're not six months into CGM, please don't focus on advanced things right now. The only thing that you need to figure out right now is how do I style my hair? and perfect that technique. Stick with whatever product you have. If you feel like it's too heavy, then use less of it. Like for example, your leave-in conditioner. Don't go jumping from product to product saying that, hey, this conditioner didn't work for me, I'm gonna buy this. Hey, this didn't work for me, I'm gonna buy that. Hey, this gel didn't work for me, I'm gonna try this. Please don't do that. Use one thing, change the amounts that you use, see what works for you, look, I swear by the Enliven Gel, but if I used a tiny bit of this, then 
I would never have decided that I like this. Right now, this is my holy grail. I love it. It makes my hair so nice and fluffy. Look at all of this volume that I'm getting. If I hadn't experimented with the amounts of gel that I use, I would have never known that this gel is cheap. Uh, it's 149 rupees for 250 ml and I like it so much more than most of the other gels that I've used. And last but not least, focusing on curl type. Now look, when you start CGM, you start at a particular curl type and as you progress, your curls might become tighter. But if you've already decided from before that, uh, yeah, I like two-way hair and I don't want volume and I don't want this and I don't want that and I don't want my hair to look big. I just want it to be manageable and tame and I just want a slight wave in my hair and I don't want something extra crazy. I don't want to be like super curly then listen, CGM is probably not for you. If you go into CGM, it's very important to have an open mind, which means to say that wherever your hair takes you, whatever your curls become, like at the bottom here, my curls are becoming extremely small. And uh, for a bit, I was really upset about that. And I was like, no, I, I like my 2B hair, you know. I don't want it to change. This is okay. Can my hair stay like this? But it's not reasonable to expect, right? CGM is about saying no to all of the abuse and all of the damage that you've done to your hair. It is about saying that, you know what? I'm good enough. I don't need to straighten my hair to be pretty. <laughs> yeah, have you guys seen that TikTok? I mean, I feel that TikTok so much. Um, yeah, so it's about telling yourself that. And look, we do get it, right? Um, curly hair, frizz. These things are not, I mean, people don't consider curly hair or frizziness to be presentable. So when you're being presentable, people expect you to have like tame hair that's always behaving, that is neat and tidy. But look, curly hair is not about that. It is about embracing the craziness, the madness, the frizz. If you're going to obsess about frizz and you're, you're going to say that, hey, I want this curl type and I don't want it to get curlier or I don't want it to have volume or I don't want this to happen, then CGM is probably not for you. What you need to do is go into this journey telling yourself that I accept whatever comes out of this and I'm going to embrace my curls and I'm not going to fuss. I'm not going to fret. I'm not going to have my mind set on what my hair needs to look like. You need to be open and you probably need to tell yourself that I'm just gonna go with the flow and uh, I'm doing this for the health of my hair, not so much about vanity. If you focus on it that way, then I promise you not picking up that straightener or not picking up that curling iron or not picking up that blow dryer becomes so much easier. I have so many more tips. This was more of a rambly video because uh, sometimes I don't feel like making everything structured. Uh, I'm on YouTube to sort of make friends, get to know you guys, talk to you guys, share my thoughts. So sometimes my videos are not going to be super structured and to the point and cut and crisp. Hopefully you guys appreciate that about this channel. We're just friends hanging out. Um, so yeah, that's all I had to say. If any of these tips helped you or if you have any tips, if there are any lessons that you've learned the hard way, then please share them in the comments down below because you never know by sharing whose day you can change. I mean, someone could be watching this video and might be in like a total funk about what they're going through and probably feels alone. Maybe you guys know what it's like to go through CGM alone. Uh, it's difficult because you'll have a lot of people judging you. You'll have a lot of people telling you, "Ee, your hair looks so frizzy. Are you actually, is this what you're doing? You know, you're going to have so much judgment, okay? Trust me. There's so many people who won't even understand what you're doing. And there'll be so much judgment that comes your way and you won't know what to do with it. So please uh, talk to each other in the comments down below. If you have anything that you want to share, anything of value that might help somebody else, leave it down in the comments down below. If you want to reach out to me, then come and talk to me on Instagram. I'm there. I haven't been there recently because I've been really busy with my gigs and stuff. 
but yeah you know if you message me i pretty much always reply and answer your questions and stuff but it would be even more helpful if you leave your questions your feedback here because other people everybody is not reading my dms but if everybody chooses they could go through the comment section right and maybe you could leave a gem there that could help somebody else out all right guys um hopefully you enjoyed this chatty video um let me know if this is something that you want to see on this channel let me know if it was helpful if you enjoyed this video give me a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't already youtube still tells me that 80% of the people watching my videos are not subscribed so if you're watching my videos in the first 2 hours and you're not subscribed and you're doing it continually you might as well just hit that subscribe button so that you don't miss a video when i post one all right guys you want to talk to me come say hi on instagram i am curly girl michelle all right thanks so much for watching guys my name is michelle and i'll see you in the next one bye